Well, certainly Raymond needs to be in this Hall of Fame because uh, he was one of the pioneers and uh, in the early days when a lot of people didn't want to, you know, they, this was a deal where, you know, your mother would tell you there's two things you don't want to get involved with. One is hillbilly music and the other is stock car racing. And uh, so those guys like Raymond in those early days that, that bucked all that tradition and went ahead and just did it, which he was great at. Uh, we owe them so much. He he brought a class to racing that was uh, uh, that was that was very interesting. Uh, yeah, there was bootlegging and all this other kind of stuff, and we can't deny that as we see with that great book, Driving with the Devil. <laughs> but that was part of it, and Raymond Parks was part of it, and he needs to be in this uh, as much as any human being. Hey, listen, it's part of our tradition, it's part of our heritage, it was born fighting, you know, and uh, it was part of what we do, and, and it was the part of the culture, and really, it still needs to be. And, you know, if you have a sport, you have a, a something that's as big as NASCAR, you need heritage, you need tradition, and you need to tell it like it really was. And what it really was was about Raymond Parks and people like that. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Who's that girl? I think NASCAR would be where it's at today because he funded several race teams that nobody else was able to do and uh, he supported everything went on. Uh, plum till today, he still supports NASCAR. He's just a great, great person and one of the finest people I ever met. You think he's finally getting the credit he deserves for the role he played? It should have been a long time ago. He should have been one of the first. <laughs> That's what this sport has kind of failed to do. Bring the people in it that got it where it's at today. Oh yeah! By all means, I mean the things that he's done, good grief, he's, he, he should be in everybody's Hall of Fame. You can't quantify what they mean to the sport because they were the pioneers. They, they, they are like Bill France Sr. They, they had a vision of, of what this sport could be if it was organized and run right. And that's the thing that uh, so many of those older guys did. They knew that uh, this was a great opportunity for them to kind of go out and do what they were really good at. And that was build cars and race cars and uh, by golly they did a pretty good job of it. I think there's still enough old people around, old drivers around, and old NASCAR people, Jim Hunter for one, that uh, they realize the value of honoring these guys while they're still with us. Yeah, all right. They're, they're our history. We're lucky. Yeah. Not a lot of sports can say, this is the guy that was there at the first race. This is the guy that won the first race. They can't say that about football, basketball, baseball, or anything else. But we can say that in racing, and we should, uh, we should honor that and, and be grateful.
and his team owner, Mr. Raymond Parks. On this historic occasion, please welcome to the stage the president of NASCAR, Mike Helton. I've got to tell you that there's no way that I could explain to you the feeling of a guy that gets to work and do what I do every day in this sport, to be able to stand and watch this group talk to each other with the sparks in their eyes about something that we do every day and take for granted that they've put together for 60 years. There's no greater moment for NASCAR than to have a group of its pioneers that are all collectively together that can represent the entire history of the sport like we've got on the stage tonight. From, from Raymond Parks to Red Fox to Jimmy Johnson and all the guys in between. It's a, it's a wonderful moment to absorb all of that. So gentlemen, not only on behalf of the French family and NASCAR, thanks for what you've done. These are the ones that put NASCAR on the map. And in NASCAR, we're very proud of our character, but we're more proud of the characters that made our character. These are the characters that did. Gentlemen, thank you. Anybody that's ever won a championship knows what it takes to be able to say at the end of the year, we were the best, not once, not twice, but all year long. That's a champion. That's a championship team. This is a historic photo opportunity. So we might as well do the audience to step forward for your own personal photograph. Mm. Everybody knew it 